I think we could fit two or three ATVs in here. This travel trailer with a toy hauler is by Stealth Trailers. It's their Nomad FK24 model. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 5,915 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 6,085 pounds, for a gross vehicle weight rating of 12,000 pounds. Its length is 30 feet and 2 inches, and it sleeps up to 4 people. What's really impressive about this travel trailer is its interior cargo area. It has a height of 80 inches and a width of 94 inches, so you can even transport a car or a Jeep. When you first walk into this trailer, on the right hand side is where the kitchen is located and also the bathroom. And then as you swing around through this uh, toy hauler, you'll notice that it's pretty bare bones in here. This is really for your hardcore you know, BMX or ATV kind of guys that get out in the middle of nowhere and get in the mud and go crazy. So this is really a good place to sleep and you've got a kitchen and a shower, but it's not necessarily a luxury toy hauler where you might take your whole family with you at the same time, although you could. So here I am in the kitchen and bathroom area of this toy hauler all the way towards the front end. And you'll notice that there is a L-shaped kitchen in here. And uh, it's perfectly set up for this size toy hauler. First of all, you have a two burner propane stove here. And then you've got you know, a decent amount of countertop space in here and a really good size single bowl sink with a nice faucet over top. And this actually has a separate sprayer that can pull out. As we go up top, we have a really big storage cabinet up there. All of the doors and everything are all made of aluminum, so it's kind of a heavy-duty setup in here. Everything's very solid, and you can tell it's built very well. And then you have a small microwave off to the right over here, kind of high up. I don't think Susan could... Nope. I don't know, honey, what do you think? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> a little too high up for her. Um, and then down below, you have your Dometic fridge. And it even has a spot, oops, let me grab it right, here we go, for uh, ice trays so you can make some ice in here, keep all your beers in there, all that good stuff. Down below, we have another cabinet space uh, underneath of the kitchen sink. So here I am standing in the shower as usual, and as you guys know, I'm 5'11", there's plenty of headroom in here, but down below, you can see that there's about a 13 inch step up just to get up and into the shower. And then once you're in here, you still have plenty of headroom. I mean, you've got, gosh, six feet, nine inches of headroom in here. So all of the ceiling height in this, in this trailer is really outstanding. Now, when you're inside the shower, it's perfectly fine size shower. I mean, there's plenty of room in here. You've got a separate sprayer and all that good stuff. The only thing I don't like about it is that it's got a shower curtain. And as you guys know, I prefer to see like a retractable shower door, something along those lines so you don't have the shower curtain blowing in and sticking to you. Also, you have a medicine cabinet in here for a little bit of storage. And then down below is your commode. And it's pretty clear we're only gonna pass the elbow test on one side. So as we work our way back into the toy hauler, it's. Again, no frills. You have a nice big TV here. It's in a great spot because you can see it from the couches or from the bed in the very back of the toy hauler. This area up here is where the heater's located. So we can open this door. That's where the heater is. And then it just blows hot air out right here into the rest of this camper. Now, there are a couple of sofas that are in here. You can see how they fold up against the wall to stay out of the way when you're storing all your toys in here or you can put them into the sofa position. And then the third thing you can do with them is just sort of jackknife them out and you have two more beds that sit right here as well. The garage on this toy hauler measures in at 18 feet, eight inches long. So it's pretty long. You should be able to store a lot of toys inside of this toy hauler. And also you'll notice above my head here towards the back is where another bed is located. You can use this little switch on the wall so once your toys are all outside, you can lower the bed down and you've got a nice queen size bed up top that you can use. Now, these travel trailers are made by a company called Stealth and Stealth is known for making cargo trailers. And what they've done is they've taken their cargo trailers and they've created their Nomad series, which is a toy hauler brand of cargo trailer. So 
while it's nice and big and wide open in here, it does have a few shortcomings that I don't think they thought of when they were making this trailer. Now, one of them is there are only four D rings on the entire floor in here, and you've got all this space, almost 19 feet to store all your toys in here, but with only four D rings, it's really not enough to secure your gear. And one other thing I think they overlooked is there's no fuel tank here so you can fuel up your ATVs or motorcycles or whatever when you're boondocking out in the middle of nowhere. Here we are at the very front of this toy hauler and it actually has a V-nose type front on here which is great in terms of you know wind resistance and getting the best gas mileage that you can but one nice feature that they have is they do have an outside shower here so if you need to rinse off the mud or dirt from you know, ATVing all over the place, you can do that outside your camper. On the other side of the V-nose front is where you have a door that leads to all of your exterior storage. This travel trailer with a toy hauler is by Cruiser RV. It's their Stryker ST 2816 model. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 8,186 pounds with a cargo carry capacity of 4,566 pounds for a gross vehicle weight rating of 12,800 pounds. It comes in at 32 feet 8 inches in length and sleeps 7 to 8 people. When you first walk into this travel trailer, you have your owner's bedroom and bathroom off to the right hand side. Then you have a nice big kitchen area, which leads into your living area, dinette area, and also extra sleeping. And there's a ramp out back as well. So this is a fantastic travel trailer that gives you the best of both worlds, right? You can store your vehicles in here and it's also your living space. So you just maximize every square inch of space in here. Here we are in the kitchen area and you'll notice up top there's this nice big TV which is in a great spot. You can see it from the living area as well as your dining area which also doubles as bunk beds in the back of this toy hauler. Next to that you've got a nice big corner cabinet here, plenty of storage up there, extra storage over top of the microwave and the microwave itself is a very good size. I mean that's a full size residential microwave that's in here. As we drop down, you've got a three burner stove here and then a lot of countertop space. This is one of the biggest countertop spaces I've ever seen in a travel trailer and much less in a, in a toy hauler. Then you have this nice big rectangular sink. I love the fact that this is a single bowl sink instead of a double bowl sink because if you had a double in here, everything would be too small. You might not be able to fit a pot or a pan in here, things like that. So having just one big sink, I think is actually a better way to go. And then over top of that, you have this nice big gooseneck faucet, which you can also pull off and use as a separate sprayer. Down below that, lots of storage underneath the kitchen sink. And then you have your drawers here for all of your utensils and they are fully extendable. So you have full use of the drawer out of the cabinet, which is great for being able to get to things much easier and then you have a little deeper cabinet down at the bottom and this even comes with a real oven underneath so if you want to cook a pizza one night you are all set and able to do that as we wrap on around the kitchen we have the refrigerator here and it's got like an open storage space up here which is as deep as the refrigerator almost so you have a good amount of storage up there you've got a separate freezer in here which is a decent sized freezer, but you'll notice it's a little smaller than if this was a 12 volt fridge. And you'll also see the screws on the back, which lets us know this is a three-way fridge. So it'll work on electric or propane or on battery as well. Just for across from the kitchen area, we have this nice big storage cabinet here, which is right next to the side door when you come in. So you got some plenty of storage there. And as we wrap on around they have all these nice big cabinets up top here, so you have additional storage in there. This also comes with a couple of independent recliners, so you can, you can slide these around, and we already showed you where the TV was above the kitchen sink, so you can slide these into position, lounge, recline, and enjoy a little TV in the evening. Right across from there, you have a nice sofa here, and this also serves as another bed because it just pops right on out and I would say, I don't think an adult could sleep here, but certainly a, a child would be able to fit on here very, very easily. And then above that, you have uh, some more additional storage space 
as well. So in the back of this toy hauler is where you could use as your dinette area, but it also serves as bunk beds back here because we have a bunk up top that will come down uh, to about this level actually. And then if you remove the table, which is very easy to do, then these just slide right on out from both directions. And you have another really good size bed back here. And then finally, of course, you have the back porch on this toy hauler as well, so you can enjoy some time outside and make the most of this space too. There's also a screen that will drop down here. So if you wanna sit inside and not have any bugs flying in, you've got your screen that'll drop down and keep you nice and safe inside. The garage length in here measures in at 16 feet, four inches. And one really great feature about this toy hauler is there are 12 D-rings on the floor, which is more than enough to secure all of your toys while you're traveling down the road. And another really nice feature in here is the ceiling height, which measures in at, gosh, eight feet, two inches tall. It has such great ceiling height in here that you could even have a ceiling fan up on the ceiling. So here I am in the owner's bedroom, which is in the very front of this toy hauler. You'll notice it has a lot of cabinetry up and over and around the bed. It's got lots of storage space. I'll try to grab one of these doors. Thought I could snag it from underneath, but there's a decent amount of uh, storage space up there. Throw your clothes up there and stuff. Then it has a mirrored wardrobe cabinet door on either side with plenty of space in here and there's a bar so you can hang up your garments in there as well. Then I've never seen this before, but it's kind of a, just some extra storage on the side and that bumps out really pretty far. Now the bed in here is a pretty good size bed. This thing is 72 inches wide and 80 inches long. So you do have a full king size bed in here as well. And there's also nightstands on either side of the bed that come with a receptacle so you can plug in your electronics overnight and get them to charge up. Now, right off of the bedroom is where the bathroom is located and we'll take a look at that next. So here I am in the shower like I usually am and I came into the bathroom through the door that leads to the bedroom. Susan is actually shooting from the hallway into the bathroom. So I'm standing in the shower. There's so much headroom in here. It is ridiculous. I mean, inside the skylight, you have seven feet, six inches. Outside the skylight, you have seven feet. So lots and lots of headroom inside of this trailer. Plus, it's about a one foot step up just to get into the shower in the first place. So there's a lot of headroom in here, as you can see. So outside of the shower, you've got this really nice big medicine cabinet in here. Opens right up, a couple of shelves in there. And you have your vanity sink with additional storage down below that. Uh, above the toilet over here, you have a corner shelf with a couple of towel hooks. There's also a receptacle in here. So if you need to shave or plug in a blow dryer, it's very conveniently located. And then finally, uh, as far as the elbow test goes, I don't think we're going to pass on this round. But if you raise your arm up on this side, you might pass that way. At the front of this toy hauler, there's also a ton of space up front underneath. This travel trailer toy haulers by Grand Design. It's the Momentum 29G model. It has an unloaded vehicle weight of 8,700 pounds, a cargo carry capacity of 4,300 pounds, and a gross vehicle weight rating of 13,000 pounds. Its length is 33 feet 11 inches, and it sleeps six people. All right, when you first walk into this toy hauler, on the right-hand side is where the bathroom is located. Just beyond that, towards the front of the camper is where the owner's bedroom is located. And then you wrap around in the kitchen and living area, and right behind me here is where the garage is located. Now, right, right straight ahead when you walk in here is where your entertainment center is located in here. And you'll notice you've got your TV here, but then you have some additional storage up top and you know it's shallow storage for dvds or cds or things like that you've also got your control panel here one really nice feature is that you have the gas gauge for your fuel tank to use to fuel up all your atvs motorcycles and what have you so that's in a really convenient location down below here you've got your radio and some open storage and then some more shallow storage below that 
As we just pass the entertainment center area here, we get to the kitchen area. Now this is what's known as an inline kitchen because from the refrigerator to the sink, everything's just in one line. Now the refrigerator here is a 12 volt refrigerator, so it runs on a compressor. And that's what allows us to have such a nice deep freezer and deep refrigerator. I like the uh, shelving setup in here. You can use the shelves either in half or in a whole shelf. And that way, if you have taller items, you can easily store them in the fridge. So very nice setup for that. Next to that, we've got a three burner range with a full oven down below. Just above that, we've got a small microwave oven and then additional storage over top of that. As we swing on along, we have even more storage here with these really nice glass doors. And one feature that you'll notice up top is this shelf is not as deep as this shelf is. It sits back a little more. That's because if this shelf came all the way out, you wouldn't be able to get much or taller items up on top of this shelf. So it's used so you can store as much as possible in here. You also have a decent amount of countertop space in here. Uh, between the burners and the sink. And then you have a really good size single bowl sink in here, a nice gooseneck faucet with a separate sprayer. And then down below that, we'll find plenty of storage for my backpack and the trash can. And then next to that, you've got all these drawers for all your kitchen utensils. So as we continue to wrap on around, uh, we have a nice cabinet here with some nice deep storage. And then below that, you have this nice countertop area that's lighted and i forgot to mention this in the rest of the kitchen but it has this nice subway tile pattern for a backsplash all throughout the kitchen this is a great spot to set up as your coffee station um, it's got a receptacle up top even a couple of usb ports so you could easily set this up as a coffee station or a charging station or however you want to use it and then there's even more storage below the countertop so here i am on the nice comfy couch all three positions of the couch recline out so you can kick back and relax. Uh, and it's in a good position here because you can actually see the TV very easily from here. And this is actually in a slide out so it creates a lot more floor space inside of your toy hauler. So here I am inside the owner's bedroom all the way towards the front end of this toy hauler. Now this bed definitely looks to be 60 inches wide, which it is. Question is how long is it? and it measures in at 80 inches. So this is a full queen size bed in here. In addition to that, you'll notice that you've got some storage cabinets up over top of the bed. You've also got some corner shelves in here, and then there's a window on each side of the bed so you can get a little cross breeze in here as well. Right behind me now, is where you'll be able to see Susan. She doesn't show up in our videos very often, but it's got this really big mirror. And I know Susan loves this thing because she can see herself before she gets up and goes out for her day. So that's a nice feature. Uh, this nice countertop in here is very convenient. You've got drawers and um, uh, cabinets below that as well. I don't know why I couldn't remember the word cabinets, but anyway, there's a couple of receptacles that are here. There's USB ports. So you can charge things up or pl you know, plug in a blow dryer or whatever you need to do. And then behind me here is a nice wardrobe closet. There's a bar up top so you can hang up, you know, hang up your shirts and things like that that you don't want to get wrinkled. Up top here is where your TV location is. You can see that there's a receptacle and satellite and cable rough-ins above. So you can mount your TV right here and it's in a perfect spot to watch while you're laying in bed drifting off to sleep at night. All right, so here I am in the bathroom, and this bathroom actually has two entrances. The one that Susan's shooting through right now is from right by the front door into the trailer, and then there's another entrance from the bedroom, so very, very convenient in that regard. I'm standing inside the shower like I always do. There's about an 11-inch step up just to get up and into the shower, and then once you're in the shower, though, there's plenty of headroom. I mean, when I measure up into this skylight, I'll bet it's over seven feet it's seven feet four inches tall in here so plenty of headroom all throughout this trailer um, it's a decent size shower in here it's got a little corner soap soap dish you know the shower heads removable it does come with a shower curtain again i wish that they would use like a retractable shower door in here i really don't like shower curtains uh, we have one in our class c and every time i can shake a shower it sticks to me it's a big pain in the butt anyway there's also 
a huge medicine cabinet in here. The top shelf in here, you could store, uh, store taller items in here, maybe shampoo bottles, things like that. Um, but it's a really nice big medicine cabinet. Down below that, you've got a good size vanity sink and countertop and then more storage below the sink. As far as the commode goes, definitely gonna pass the elbow test on this side, not so much on that side. Another really great feature of this toy hauler is that it has a door that separates the living area from the garage area. And there's even a rubber strip on the threshold under the door. So it rubs on the bottom floor area so no fumes can get under the door and into the living area. So let's take a look at the garage right now. I hope you guys can hear me over the noise in the background. We're at the Maryland RV show currently and it's February and the heater is running. So it's a little bit loud back here. Uh, this is a heater that heats the whole entire warehouse where all these RVs are for the show today. Anyway, uh, when you're back here in the garage area, you'll notice that you have a bed that will move up and down in here so you can stow it away when you have your toys in here and pull it down when you want to use it for a sleeping space. And below that, this area serves three purposes. It can serve as two couches. You could also put a dinette table in here or you can also flip the couches over both sides and make this into a really good sized bed as well. And there's a half bath located back here in the garage as well. So you don't have to go traipsing through the living area to use the bathroom back here. It's a basic bathroom. It's got a mirror, a vanity sink, and then of course your commode, which there is just no way I'm gonna pass the elbow test in here. Another great feature about this toy hauler is that there is a separate exterior door that leads into the garage area. So it really has two doors on the side. One goes into the living area and one comes into the garage area. That way you can get in here, uh, access whatever you need to without having to walk through your trailer to get here. You'll also notice up top here, there's a lot of open storage. It's got these cargo netting built in so that'll hold things in place up there. And then this is where your TV location would be. You've got your cable and satellite rough-ins along with a receptacle here. You can put your TV here and then you'll be able to see it from couches or sleeping areas. Either way, it's in a great spot. The garage in here measures 11 feet even and there are nine D-rings on the floor to secure all of your toys. This toy hauler also has an awesome deck back here complete with an awning and LED lighting. I think I found the world's tallest exterior storage compartment and this is it right here. I mean, this thing is super tall. You could store ski poles. You could store, I don't know, a stand up paddle board or kayak poles or fishing poles. Anything in here that you need that's super tall will fit no problem at all. If you want to check out even more travel trailer toy haulers with awesome floor plans and amazing garages, just click this box down below and Susan and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.